Good Tuesday morning, Chief Sports fans. John Cannon coming to you from the Donna High School Athletic Office. I am here with our Chief Sports.us Player of the Week, Arath Martinez. Arath competed in his, just found out, his final powerlifting meet of his career in which he placed second in the meet. So Arath, I guess first of all, congratulations, man, on uh, you know finishing strong, uh, finishing your high school career officially uh, in powerlifting. What was it like, man, knowing that that was your last meet and your last chance to try to try to keep it going. Well, like I really wanted to qualify for regionals, but like the days I didn't come to practice, you know, like that mattered a lot, and it showed that week. And but I tried my best. I mean, I tried everything like, to qualify, and it just didn't work out. Coach, you know, we talked about how tough this region really is. This is one of the toughest regions in the state. Um, even though the kids technically kind of hit what would be state qualifying totals. Yes. It all starts in regional, so talk about that. Even though they did an accomplishment, it's still a big accomplishment just for what they did. Yeah, it's it's, it's a real big accomplishment. Uh, a lot of these guys, I mean, they improved uh, three hundred pounds on their on their total. You know, from the begin from the first meet to the last meet, uh, they did a real good job. Some of our guys, you know, had a chance to hit the qualifying total. However, in our region, uh, region five is the strongest in the state of Texas. Uh, you got to be top twelve. You got to be top twelve to make it. So if even if you hit the state qualifying total. Uh, if you're not top 12, you know, you don't get the opportunity because you do have to hit that state qualifying total at regionals. There you go. You know, uh, Arath, you know, tried to get hit, we're trying to hit that state qualifying total just, you know, uh, just for a PR, you know, and yeah. I mean, he went for a 570 deadlift, you yeah. know, you know, got it halfway up, you know, he fought it, he fought it, you know, and just, we just uh, couldn't get it done that day. You know, last year you had Eli and Juan, who yes. really meant a lot to this program, and oh, you needed yes. a kid to step up. Yes. and take that leadership role. Was this one of the guys that did that this year? And did absolutely. He, did he fill into the team? A absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Arat, I mean, didn't place lower than second this year. You know, he got second at, at our meet, at the Donna North meet. Uh, he got first at the PSJ Southwest meet. And uh, this meet, which is a, a really big meet, uh, I think it was uh, 250 lifters. Uh, in his weight class alone, there was about 16, 17 lifters in that weight class. And, you know, he winded up getting second. So, I mean, he, he basically was our, uh, our MVP this year. So what, uh, you know, man, now that you kind of sit back and reflect on all of it, what was it like to be able to, did you ever imagine in a million years that when you were in high school you would be competing in powerlifting? No. My freshman year, I was, like, bad. Like, I wasn't even, like, I was, like, immature. And, like, I wouldn't even think about football or powerlifting, like, as I'm dedicated now. But I wish I, I wasn't part of the freshman year. You know, man, this year, your whole senior year was, was memorable. In football, you know, you had one of the best years you've ever had and powerlifting. So can you honestly say now, looking back, did you get everything out of your senior year that you wanted to? No, I wanted more. I wanted way more. But sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it. So what's next? What can we expect next? Is there a possibility that you're looking at playing college fo college football, maybe lifting in college? Uh, are you just going to become a regular student? What's your plan going forward? Um, well, I'm just going to focus on the future. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to be in the Border Patrol and Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. But I'm still going to be lifting, though. I, I love lifting. Really? Yeah. I got to ask you this question, and Coach right here will probably slap you in the head if you answer the wrong <laughs> one. But be honest, football or powerlifting, which is your favorite? Yeah. And, and you don't have to, you know, just because he's here, you ain't got to say it, no. man. But which uh, is your favorite of both? Football. Well, I, I mean, I would do anything for it to play again. If you got an opportunity from a school to play, let's say a small school, small school came up and said, hey, look, man, we, we, we want to take a chance and you want you to play at the next level. Would you seriously consider that? Yes, I would. Would I you mean, put the Border Patrol on hold? Yes. You would? Okay. Coach, coaching this young man since he was a freshman, he talks a lot about, and you did too, how much his immaturity, you know, now he's grown up to become a very mature young man. Uh, expectations for him going forward, do you think that, that he's got what it takes to possibly play at the next level or maybe even lift at the next level? Oh, yes, Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, Arat, his dedication uh, from his freshman year to his senior year is just has totally changed. Uh, he started really getting into it his sophomore year, his junior year. He really put in the time. His senior year, I mean, second to none. He was it was here every day in the weight room uh, during football season. He never missed a practice. Uh, the only time he missed practice during power the season was during the holidays when he had to go out of town. You know, and that's what he was talking about earlier about missing practice. You know, and. That, that's why you know he he talked about me uh, he talked to me about that and I mean he's just so bummed out that he just missed what was it a week and a half week and a half he missed that was the only thing he missed this entire year 
And because of that, you know, he blames that on, on you know, not making it to regionals, not doing it. You know, it's just like I tell him, you know, if he would have gotten into his freshman year, like I tell everybody else, you get into your freshman year, you're going to take your bumps, your freshman, your sophomore year, your junior year, you, you, you excel, you know, senior year, you have a chance to win state, you know, there you go. be dedicated. Um, Juan opened your door last year, like yes. going to college, did very well yes. in, his, in his first year. Do you think that this young man, uh, are you going to try to make some calls, see if you can get him in yes. somewhere? Yes. Uh, it sounds like he really wants to play or lift at the next level. So uh, is that kind of your plan right now to see what you can get him? Yes. Uh, I'll, I actually, I want to see if we can get talk to some colleges. I really would like him to play football. You know, I, I know that's his passion. And uh, if that's going to get him to college, if that's going to get him, you know, maybe a, a partial scholarship or, you know, keep him in college, to where he graduates, gets an education, then that's what we need. That's, that's going to be my, our, our number one goal. There you go. All right, I'm going to turn this over to you. I'm going to, I'm going to sign off for right now, but this is your chance to thank everybody, you know, and, and also tell me about the people that, that have meant so much to you during your time here at Donner North. Well, I just want to thank the younger guys like for coming every day. And I know like this program, this program is going to be successful one day. And that's what I'm hoping for because that's what everybody wants. And I want to thank Coach Garcia because uh, even when nobody wanted me, like in defense, he picked me up. And I did real, real success, successful in that. And I just want to thank um, actually all the coaching staff because like, I just wanted to work and they gave me the opportunity and I did it. There you go. Well, I'll tell you what, man. I am going to uh, do my part as well to try to help you play at the next level. I'm going to make a couple phone calls if that's okay. I want to see the Adolf Martinez show <laughs> college style. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, we're going to see what we can do. Again, you know, we, we just, from us at ChiefSports.us, to follow you uh, from last year to this year, I mean, we ourselves saw a massive improvement in football especially. I mean, you were an animal on that field. It was a pleasure covering you. Anything we can do for you, man, you know we got you. And uh, congratulations on a successful high school career. Let's see what we can do in college, my brother. Thanks a lot, guys, and good luck to you.